Do you know what a beat locker is? Look, this subject has been keeping a lot of people up at night, right? That's why I'm recording this video to explain more or less what beat locker is and the possible ways you can solve this problem when it appears on your computer. I'm Daniel and in this video I'm going to explain to you what you'll do if the BitLocker screen appears on your computer. Out of nowhere, this screen appears. But before that I'll explain what BitLocker is and why from time to time it appears. BitLocker is an encryption feature. It is from Microsoft and it serves to protect your data. It is a protection feature because let's imagine that your computer is stolen. Someone steals your computer and then if the person took the HD from your computer, she will have access to all her files. So more or less the bit lock would be that it would be a protection for the person not being able to access their data. The data on the computer, if they eventually remove the HD from that computer, then a way to protect the, your files. But this has been keeping a lot of people up at night because sometimes it can happen out of nowhere blue screen yesterday. I used the computer today. It gave me a blue screen. BitLocker recovery appears. What is this? This sometimes happens. Sometimes it could be an update of the system, is sometimes a BIOS configuration change, or sometimes it is a feature that you accidentally activated and appeared. And how are you going to resolve it? What is the right thing to do? The computer is new. The computer has always been yours. It has never belonged to anyone. It has never belonged to any third party. It has always been yours. So you decide to resolve it. So if the computer has always been yours, what are you going to do? You're going to access it. I will put the link here to you access the Microsoft website. On the Microsoft website, there's the BitLocker recovery part. And then it's quite simple, right? So you can get this recovery key because it usually appears there, right? BitLocker recovery. Then you have to type gigantic code, right? And there are several characters. And if you can type these characters, awesome. So how are you going to do it? You went to the Microsoft website. I'll leave it here in the description. I'll also put it up here in the card to make it easier. So you went to the Microsoft link. You entered your username, password. It has to be your Hotmail, Outlook username, password. Is there anything related to Microsoft? Microsoft account and then you entered and then it will appear whether there's a bit lock key on that user or not. If it's great, try it on your computer, on your notebook. Oh no, not appeared. So the bit locking key is probably registered in another email you use. That's it. If this computer has always been yours, you've never had any technician do the installation or anything, then it will be easy to solve. You will get this key using some of your Microsoft emails. There is another possibility, and I even recorded a video explaining about this, which means you return the motherboard to the factory settings, because sometimes this happens because the motherboard or the BIOS, right? In this case, it changed the settings or the system changed the configuration, and then you restore the configuration. BIOS Factory can solve it. I recorded a three minute video that got a lot of views on YouTube how BitLock was solved in three minutes. I'll also leave a link here so you can access this video and see how we managed to solve this in less than three minutes without having the key. It's a Dell notebook. It's a specific model. It's suitable for other notebooks. It also works. Eh, my. But we received several comments, people that it worked and everything on other notebook models. But specifically the Dell model, the model in the video that will work. Beleza. And if you do, you have the key. So access the Microsoft website, have the key, type the characters there and access normally. You will see that it will allow the use of your notebook. Did you access the computer? Restart it. Sometimes it may appear again asking for the bit log key. If it appears again, is there a way for you to disable it so it doesn't appear again? I won't put it in this video because otherwise the video will be very long. But if you want, if you want, 
I can record a video explaining this procedure, how to do it. So he doesn't show up anymore. So he doesn't ask for the beat lock key after you, after you access the system. After you get the key, every time you have to keep typing, it's annoying. So if you want, I can record a video explaining in detail why detail this procedure. Put it here in the comments. Put it here in the comments. And if there are a lot of people asking, we will make a video about it too. Okay, then I hope I have helped. I hope I have clarified some doubts. I will record the next video too. Clearing some doubts from people that people ask in that beat locker video that was quite successful. That helped a lot of people, but there were people who still had doubts. So I'm going to record a video explaining it, answering people's questions. If you have any questions, also put them here in the comments and we'll record the next video to answer more questions. Okay, look, thank you very much. You who stayed this far in this video. Look, thank you very much for your time. Okay, I hope I helped and clarified it in some way. And if you helped me a lot, if you like this video, click on the like button. Don't forget to like, you stayed here until now, click on the button and activate notifications, activate the bell, subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for the next videos that I'm going to talk about this beat locker subject, which is a subject that is keeping a lot of people up at night. And probably if it's keeping you up at night, the next videos will definitely help you. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time. Visit our website, quimbavirtual.com.br. I have advised many people who have contacted us. We are a computer store, a physical and virtual store. But I have advised a lot of people through WhatsApp, sometimes the person with doubts, and I have helped a lot of people like that. Sometimes even for free. The person calls me, calls the store and says, oh, I need help, right? Uh, in the greatest of goodwill, we will help as much as possible in the measure of our time, which is also busy, of course, but we try to do the best for everyone. Okay? Gente, brigadão, muito obrigado. Ó, até a próxima. Até o próximo vídeo. Ó, não esquece, se inscreve no nosso canal, curte esse vídeo. Valeu, até mais.